Let's take a look at the screw placement in the mid part of the suture area. To place mini screws in mid part of the area, we should consider two areas, anterior and posterior part. Part 1. Let's take a look at the posterior area first. The mid part of the suture area provides very good bone support for both adult and especially in growing patient. In growing patient, because of the rapid remodeling of bone, the screw placed in both buccal and palatal alveolus are not stable. But even in a growing patient, as the bone of mid palatal suture area is very dense, it provides good stability for mini screws. But as the middle part of the suture is not fully matured in growing and young patient, it is better to place the screw slightly off-centered position rather than center or middle part of the suture, like this. As the soft tissue in the posterior middle part of the area is relatively thin and tight, short and large diameter screw should be used. 1.6 mm in diameter and 6 mm long screw will do. When placing mini screws in mid palatal suture area, it is strongly recommended to use motor driven hand piece with a mid side length shaft rather than a short one and set a passive insertion perpendicular to the occlusal plane to avoid the interference between the incisors and hand piece and to keep the pass straight during insertion. Perpendicular to the occlusal plane, use medium sized shaft. Let's see the step by step procedures. With the mid side length shaft and 1.6 mm, 6 mm screw slightly off centered left or right side as needed, set the passive insertion perpendicular to the occlusal plane. Then press the button to start insertion. Make sure the clockwise rotation. With the general pressure, keep the pass straight until the color of the screw touches the soft tissue surface. A screw was placed a little bit off-centered in mid part of the suture area like this. Part 2. Anterior part of mid palate and rugae area. In the anterior part of mid palatal suture, there is a nasopalatine foramen and canal here. As is shown in the CT image, the canal runs from nasal cavity to oral cavity like this. If you put the screw perpendicular to the bone surface, there is a risk of invading the canal. To avoid the canal invasion, if you set the insertion path perpendicular to the occlusal plane, then you can minimize the risk of canal invasion. As the soft tissue of anterior mid palatal suture area is thicker than posterior, choose mid side long shaft and 1.6 mm in diameter and 8 mm long screw. In summary, determine the point of entry slightly behind to avoid the canal and set the path of insertion not perpendicular to the bone surface but perpendicular to occlusal plane like this it can minimize the possibility of canal involvement another position to place screws in anterior palate is rugae area right and left side of anterior mid palatal suture as the soft tissue in rugae area is thick and plenty, long and large diameter screw is needed. 1.6 mm, 8 mm screw can be used. Choose a mid side long shaft. Let's place a screw in palatal rugae between 22 and 23. Step 1. Determine the insertion point. After injection around the insertion point, with a probe, press the tissue to mark a line. Step 2. Set the path of insertion. 
with the motor driven handpiece, mid side length shaft, and 1.6mm, 8mm screw. Measure distally straight to the center between the root to minimize the risk of touching the root. Occlusal gingivally gives some angulation between perpendicular to bone surface and occlusal plane. Once the pass is determined, step 3, press the button and start the insertion. Clockwise rotation to finish the insertion. Maintain the pass straight all the way through. Finally, a screw is placed in rugged area.